Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test. Test two. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. I took this picture when I had my beach holiday. Do you like it? Yes, I do. Are these people all your friends? Some of them are. Can you see the boy with the boat? The one who's wearing jeans. Yes. Well, that's Jim. I like him a lot. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. There's another friend of mine. That's Sally. Which one's she? The girl with her feet in the water. I see her. She's holding a towel above her head. Yes, that's right. Two. And what about that boy there? What's he got on his shoulder? It's a parrot. Is it? Yes. And that's Fred. He wants to be a pirate. Three. There's my new friend, Paul. So he was on this holiday too. That's nice. He's playing in the sand between those two rocks. Look. What's he making? A kind of star, I think. Four. And who's that woman? That's my mum. Her name's Mary. Did she bring you a picnic that day? Yes, and she's got her sun hat on. It was very sunny there. Five. And Vicky's in this picture too. She's got a drink in her hand. Can you see her? Oh yes, she's got a dolphin on her T-shirt. That's right. She's another friend of mine. We looked for treasure one day, but we didn't find any. Oh dear. Now listen to part one again. One. There's another friend of mine. That's Sally. Which one's she? The girl with her feet in the water. I see her. She's holding a towel above her head. Yes, that's right. Two. And what about that boy there? What's he got on his shoulder? It's a parrot. Is it? Yes. And that's Fred. He wants to be a pirate. Three. There's my new friend, Paul. So he was on this holiday too. That's nice. He's playing in the sand between those two rocks. Look. What's he making? A kind of star, I think. Four. And who's that woman? That's my mum. Her name's Mary. Did she bring you a picnic that day? Yes. And she's got her sun hat on. It was very sunny there. Five. And Vicky's in this picture too. She's got a drink in her hand. Can you see her? Oh yes, she's got a dolphin on her T-shirt. That's right. She's another friend of mine. 
We looked for treasure one day, but we didn't find any. Oh dear. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Dad, can I have some dance lessons? We can go to dance lessons at school now. I don't know, Daisy. Please, there's a new teacher at school who can dance well. Hmm, I don't know. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Tell me about the dance lessons. They aren't in my classroom. Which classroom are they in then? They're in classroom ten, the one next to the playground. Classroom ten. Okay. Two. And which day are these lessons? Do you know? Yes. They're on Monday. On Monday.、Hmm. That's okay, I think. So can I, Dad? Three. Well, what's the name of the teacher who can give you these lessons? It's Mrs. Carris. Let me write this down. Mrs. Carris, C A R I S. Yes, she's our English teacher too. Oh. Four. But you have to buy me something. What? A new dress? No, some shoes. We have to take them to the first lesson. Do they have to be new shoes? Yes, please. Five. But how can you come home after the lesson? On the bus? No, there isn't a bus then. I can take my bike that day and ride home. On your bike? That's a good idea. All right, you can go to the dance lessons. Great. Now listen to part two again. One. Tell me about the dance lessons. They aren't in my classroom. Which classroom are they in then? They're in classroom ten, the one next to the playground. Classroom ten, okay. Two. And which day are these lessons? Do you know? Yes, they're on Monday. On Monday. Hmm, that's okay, I think. So can I, Dad? Three. Well, what's the name of the teacher who can give you these lessons? It's Mrs. Carris. Let me write this down. Mrs. Carris, C A R I S. Yes, she's our English teacher too. Oh. Four. But you have to buy me something. What? A new dress? No, some shoes. We have to take them to the first lesson. Do they have to be new shoes? Yes, please. Five. But how can you come home after the lesson? On the bus? No, there isn't a bus then. I can take my bike that day and ride home. On your bike? That's a good idea. 
All right, you can go to the dance lessons. Great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did John do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Did you have a good week with your cousin John? Yes, it was great, Miss White. They live in a big town. Oh yes, tell me, what did you do there? We went skating on Wednesday. I enjoyed it a lot. Can you see the line from the word Wednesday? On Wednesday, John went skating. Now you listen and draw lines. One. We had a party another day. Which day was that? It was on Friday. It was my cousin's birthday. Her friend gave her a rabbit. Wow! And did you give her a present? Yes, a football. But we couldn't play because it rained that day. Two. We went on a bus one day. We sat upstairs in the front. Was that on Monday? No, it was on Thursday morning, I think. Yes, Thursday. That's right. And where did you go? To a kind of park. We played games there on the grass. Three. Sunday was my best day. What did you do that day? My aunt got us some tickets, and we went to see a film. What was it about? A family of rabbits. It was very funny. They could talk. Four. And what did you do on Tuesday, John? On Tuesday?、Um, that was a quiet day, I think. We were at home that day. I read a book in the living room. Was it a good story? It was okay. It was about a rabbit. It wasn't very exciting. Five. And on Saturday evening, I came home again. But what did you do in the day before that? Did you go into the town again? Not that day. My uncle played football with us, and we had a picnic in the garden. Great. Yes, I always enjoy my holidays there. Now listen to part three again. One. We had a party another day. Which day was that? It was on Friday. It was my cousin's birthday. Her friend gave her a rabbit. Wow! And did you give her a present? Yes, a football. But we couldn't play because it rained that day. Two. We went on a bus one day. We sat upstairs in the front. Was that on Monday? No, it was on Thursday morning, I think. Yes, Thursday. That's right. And where did you go? To a kind of park. We played games there on the grass. Three. Sunday was my best day. What did you do that day? My aunt got us some tickets, and we went to see a film. What was it about? A family of rabbits. It was very funny. They could talk. Four. And what did you do on Tuesday, John? On Tuesday?、Um, that was a quiet day, I think. We were at home that day. I read a book in the living room. Was it a good story? It was okay. It was about a rabbit. 
It wasn't very exciting. Five. And on Saturday evening, I came home again. But what did you do in the day before that? Did you go into the town again? Not that day. My uncle played football with us, and we had a picnic in the garden. Great. Yes, I always enjoy my holidays there. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What's Tony doing? Tony, are you having a bath? No, I'm getting some water to wash the car. Why? It's all right. I could hear water. That's all. Do you want to drink? I'm making some tea. No, thank you. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did Jane buy yesterday? What's that, Jane? It's a cup for Mum. I got it in a big shop. When you went shopping yesterday? Yes, I took the puppy with me. I had a good day, but I didn't buy any new shoes. I wanted some, but I couldn't find any. Oh. Two. What was Jack's dream about? Are you all right, Jack? No, Mum. I had a funny dream. Was it about monsters again? No, it was about a big bear. I was afraid. Well, get up now and come and have some breakfast. Three. Where's Peter's mouse? Grandma, I can't find my mouse. He isn't in his cage. Oh, Peter. Have you looked in your box? He was there yesterday when you couldn't find him. I looked there. What's that? Look, that sock's moving. It's your mouse. He's inside it. <laughs> oh yes, you naughty mouse. Come here. Four. Which person is Kim? There's my friend Kim, Dad. Do you mean the girl in the red trousers? Not her. I mean the girl in the red skirt. Can you see her? The person with the red jacket on too. Dad, that's Kim's mother. Put your glasses on. Five. What did Mr. Rice find in his car? Mr. Rice is on television, Pat. He's found something in his car. It's very funny. Mum, I'm reading my book about spiders. <laughs> It's a toy fish on the floor of his car. Look. What? Come and see. No. Please be quiet. Now listen to part four again. One. What did Jane buy yesterday? What's that, Jane? It's a cup for Mum. I got it in a big shop. When you went shopping yesterday? Yes, I took the puppy with me. I had a good day, but I didn't buy any new shoes. I wanted some, but I couldn't find any. Oh. Two. What was Jack's dream about? Are you all right, Jack? No, Mum. I had a funny dream. Was it about monsters again? No. It was about a big bear. I was afraid. Well, 
get up now and come and have some breakfast. 3. Where's Peter's mouse? Grandma, I can't find my mouse. He isn't in his cage. Oh, Peter, have you looked in your box? He was there yesterday when you couldn't find him. I looked there. What's that? Look, that sock's moving. It's your mouse. He's inside it. <laughs> oh, yes. You naughty mouse. Come here. Four. Which person is Kim? There's my friend Kim, Dad. Do you mean the girl in the red trousers? Not her. I mean the girl in the red skirt. Can you see her? The person with a red jacket on, too? Dad, that's Kim's mother. Put your glasses on. Five. What did Mr. Rice find in his car? Mr. Rice is on television, Pat. He's found something in his car. It's very funny. Mum, I'm reading my book about spiders. <laughs> it's a toy fish on the floor of his car. Look. What? Come and see. No, please be quiet. Part 5. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. I'd like to colour this picture now. Can I do that? Yes, you can. It's a kitchen. Can you see the apple in the boy's hand? Yes. Shall I colour it? Yes, please. Colour that apple yellow. OK. Can you see the yellow apple? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. 1. Now find the two bowls. OK, I can see the two bowls. Good. Colour the bigger one, please. Make it blue. OK, I'm colouring it now. Good. Two. There's a doll on the table. Can I colour that too? Yes, good idea. Can I colour it yellow? Mm, no, make it green. All right, what a funny doll. <laughs> Three. Now, please draw something in this kitchen. OK. What must I draw? Something easy, please. All right. Draw a bottle inside the cupboard. The cupboard with a door that's open. A bottle? OK. I'll do that now. Four. There are two bags in this room. Shall I colour the square one? No, colour the round bag next. Can I choose the colour? I'd like to colour it pink. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Five. Now, outside the window, there's a big plant in the garden. Can you see it? Yes. Shall I colour that too? Yes, please. Make the big plant purple. OK. That's one of my favourite colours. It looks nice. Yes, it does. Thank you.
Now listen to part five again. One. Now find the two bowls. Okay, I can see the two bowls. Good. Color the bigger one, please. Make it blue. Okay, I'm coloring it now. Good. Two. There's a doll on the table. Can I color that too? Yes, good idea. Can I color it yellow? Hmm. No. Make it green. All right. What a funny doll. <laughs> Three. Now, please draw something in this kitchen. Okay. What must I draw? Something easy, please. All right. Draw a bottle inside the cupboard. The cupboard with a door that's open. A bottle? Okay. I'll do that now. Four. There are two bags in this room. Shall I color the square one? No, color the round bag next. Can I choose the color? I'd like to color it pink. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Five. Now, outside the window, there's a big plant in the garden. Can you see it? Yes. Shall I color that too? Yes, please. Make the big plant purple. Okay. That's one of my favorite colors. It looks nice. Yes, it does. Thank you. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 2.